Hey everybody, this is Jeremy with Detroit Tech, and honestly, I wasn't sure how to start this review. I've seen many videos with and about Philips Hue lights, and I thought they were pretty cool. The problem was I didn't want to have to grab my phone out of my pocket to turn my lights on or off. It sounds really petty, very first world problem, I know, but if I were to walk by like the switch, turn them off, then the app wouldn't work next time. It just really seemed like too many ways to turn lights on or off and just screw things up. So I never really wanted, never really thought about buying them. Then I got a Google Home. What do I think about them now? So I was on my way into Home Depot, not sponsored, to buy a, like just a $3 part. Saw the Philips Hue starter kit and well, I had my Google Home for about a week, realized I could control the Hue lights with the new home. So I walked out of the store $180 poor. After driving home like a crazy person to go play with my new toy, I unwrapped these bad boys. The unboxing was actually pretty great. Very simple packaging, nice little presentation, everything just kind of sitting there, hub and the three light bulbs. Uh, these are the Color Ambience A19 lights, RGB. And how was the setup? Well, Screwing the lights in was pretty easy. Uh, with that done, it's a simple task, plugging the hub into the router, the Google on hub, I'm Google fanboy, it's fine. Uh, getting into the app, hitting the big button on the top of the hub, finds the lights. With that done, I just needed to name the lights in the app and tell it what room each light was in. With that done, I hopped into my Google Home app, gave a custom name to each light so I didn't have to remember the specific room the Hue app supplied me with. Now, time to hop into the Hue app to see just how many colors these lights can do. Well, all of the colors, 16.9 uh, million colors is what the advertisements say, and I can't really distinguish between every single shade of every color, but it's nice to know I have the options at least. In the app, there are two different screens for light color. One of them does all the RGB capabilities. The other takes care of the different white tones. This, well, all the white tones, they go from quite blue to quite yellow to kind of in between. They have built-in scenes too, so everything from a Savannah Sunset, which is a fairly yellow white light, to Tropical Twilight, which is fairly orange, and there's a bunch of others too. There are also built-in recipes called uh, Relax, Read, Concentrate, and Energize. All recipes with different shades of like white lights. Diving into the scenes, there's a very interesting thing hiding in the app. When you get into one of the more exotic scenes like the Savannah Sunset or something, you can hit the little edit button. This shows you a picture that they use for the like avatar of the scene. You can then pinch to zoom around and this changes the light to fit the main color of what's actually showing up in that picture. It's a pretty cool way to tweak the built-in scenes just to really match the type of light that you're looking for. Philips also has a website where you can create an account and control your Hue lights from any computer once you sign in. Once you activate your account, you can even use your app on your phone even if you're not in the same Wi-Fi network and you'll be able to change your lights around. I will admit, definitely used it a couple times just to mess with my wife when she had some people over. I may or may not be a child, but I do have fun. But all of this is for naught if I have to actually pull out my phone to control them all the time. Enter the Google Home. The Philips Hue lights work seamlessly with the home right out of the box. So let me explain that. When I pulled out an Echo Dot, I told Alexa to turn the lights blue and it told me it couldn't do that. With a little bit of research, I realized you have to set up personal scenes and then use IFT to set up a specific trigger phrase for Alexa to change the lights a different color. Kinda lame. With the home, all I had to say was, okay Google, turn the lights blue. Sure, changing six lights to blue. Perfect. When the U.S. soccer team was playing, I told it to make uh, light over here red. This one, I think, was just white. I had another one over there, uh, blue, uh, red, white, and blue. National Pride, instantly. It was awesome. It'll even recognize HTML colors. Okay, Google, turn the bookcase light burnt sienna. Okay, changing the bookcase to burnt sienna. So ridiculous. There are some things you can't do. Uh, I can't use the home to turn a light more blue or deeper blue, but you can dim them all either individually or as a group as well. I even added a hue bloom to add a little ambient light on the wall. Okay, Google, turn the bloom purple. 
Okay, changing the bloom to purple. Perfect. So, conclusion time. First, would I have bought these lights if I didn't have a Google Home? No. They're super cool and I love the idea of a smart home, but it just wasn't smooth and easy enough for me to really buy in. But with the Google Home, these things are like past cool. They're amazing. I just yell at the Google Home and the lights do things. Just awesome. I don't have to use my hands at all. Talk about first world problems. We're one step closer to Wally, everybody, and I am on board. I even got a motion sensor just to put in my office so I can open the door, lights turn on, close the door, lights turn off. Even lazier and I love it. And when you add things like IFT into the mix, I can have my lights automatically turn on uh, at the sunset and then turn off if I'm not home because I have the, the app and I get a notification or I can have them turn blue when it starts raining. On top of that, they're LED lights, which basically cost almost nothing to run. I really love them and I need at least nine more and a bunch more blooms and some more Google Homes really before I'll be done. The only problem with that is the A19 lights that I have are about $50 per light unless you find them on a great deal, but are they worth it? 100%. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. If you didn't like it, hit that thumbs down. Uh, let me know in the comments below what type of cool things you've done with your Hue, if you have any cool recipes or any cool IFT recipes as well. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, Google, party time.